Ukraine is running short of weapons, and the United States is low on the weapons that it can spare for Ukraine. I am not the one who's saying it. This was a public candid admission by the American President Joe Biden in a recent interview. So how does Washington intend to remedy this situation? Well, the United States is now sending cluster ammunition to Ukraine to fight against the Russians. This is an escalation so grave that some of America's closest allies, such as United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand and Spain, have expressed their opposition to it. Forget international allies. Even the members of the Democrat Party in Joe Biden's own administration have expressed their reservations about cluster ammunitions. You see, the problem with cluster ammunition is innocent civilians, especially children, end up getting killed and maimed long after the conflict has ended and long after the guns have fallen silent. Our next report gets you the details. More than a hundred countries around the world have banned the use of cluster bombs. The way a cluster bomb works is that it releases numerous tiny bomblets from a rocket, missile or an artillery shell and these are scattered in mid-flight over a very large area. These tiny bomblets are intended to explode on impact but hundreds of these tiny bomblets can turn out to be duds which means that they do not explode immediately on impact but they can explode even decades later if they are stepped upon or inadvertently picked up. And often it is innocent civilians and especially children who turn out to be the victims of cluster ammunition. From a military perspective, cluster ammunition is devastatingly effective, especially against a dug-in enemy who is using trenches and fortifications. But once used, large areas are rendered unusable until cleared through a painstaking process. Human rights group described cluster ammunition as the abhorrent bomb and the usage is denounced as a war crime. So why is the United States now feeding cluster ammunition into the battlefields of Ukraine? Um, are we breaking the law? We are not breaking the law. Um, I would say, first of all, the, the prohibition against exporting above 1%. Th these munitions are pretty close to 1%, but they're not at the 1% level. Uh, but the president does have the authority uh, to waive that requirement on national security grounds, and that's what uh, he has done in this instance. Uh, there's no dispute that he has that authority. It's in, it's in law. I'm as concerned about the humanitarian circumstance as anybody. Uh, but the worst thing for civilians in Ukraine is for Russia to win the war. Uh, and so it's important that they don't. Russia too has been accused of using cluster bombs. The use of cluster ammunition is banned according to United Nations Convention that was signed in 2008 in Dublin. But neither the United States nor Russia or Ukraine are signatories. The first tranche of these controversial weapons have already been delivered to Ukraine, only to dislodge the Russians from their entrenched positions. But the genie once released from the bottle is unlikely to go back. And what is worse, even the use of cluster bombs will not prove to be a game changer for Ukraine, which has been struggling to make progress in its counteroffensive. Uh, there's no such thing as a game-changing weapon. We keep hoping that, uh, that there's some munition or some weapon that we can provide the Ukrainians that will uh, produce victory. Uh, you hear that uh, you know, when, back when there were discussions on Patriot, when there were discussions about tanks uh, and uh, discussions about F-16s and now uh, cluster munitions. On the other hand, all of these weapons are useful. They're all uh, effective on the battlefield. They will all help uh, Ukraine in its uh, struggle. Uh, but no single weapon is going to produce a victory. In the bloody and the brutal Vietnam War, the United States, in a bid to drive the communist supply lines, had dropped an estimated 20 million tons of ammunition on neighboring Laos. And even after 50 years since the cluster bombs were dropped, every now and then, civilians, especially children, still step on the unexploded cluster ammunition and end up paying the ultimate prize. And in Ukraine, the United States appears to be repeating its mistakes of Vietnam and love all over again. 